Hello. Hi. Uh, today I'm going to talk about two pens uh, in my collection. Uh, one that I got pretty recently and one that I got uh, a little while ago, maybe between two and six months uh, time. Passage is not my forte, but, um, or, you know, remembering time passage. Right, but um, I wanted to talk about these two pens because uh, when I was uh, getting these pens, when I, after I purchased them and I was looking at them, uh, I looked on the online, uh, specifically on YouTube, but uh, you know, just everywhere, and I could not find any reviews of these pens. Uh, I couldn't find, uh, I think there, one of them there's like an opening, uh, maybe someone posted a video about them opening the box, but I, I couldn't find anything as far as like talking about the pens how they were, uh, any writing samples, anything like that. So uh, I wanted to do that. So the first pen, both of these pens are made by uh, the Italian pen company, Marlin. Uh, the first pen that I wanted to talk about was, uh, it's called Le Armonia de Leonardo, the Harmony of, of Leonardo. Um, uh, and this, this pen is a, a limited edition pen that, that Marlin has made. Uh, I believe there are 388 of these made, um, and they're numbered. I don't know if I'll be able to get get it, that um, on there. Maybe when I do the other one, I can do that. Wait, basically, um, something like that. But yeah, there's a there's a numbering on here, uh, but yeah, I. It, this, this pen is just, it, it is by far my favorite pen. I wouldn't say by far, but it's definitely my favorite pen. Um, the weight is just amazing. Uh, this, this material, I think it's casein, 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 K-A-E-I, something. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it, but, uh, and then also, um, this is Italian, uh, uh resin. That's, that's a little detail here. Uh, and then obviously different Italian resin that makes up the, the cap and part of the body, but there's also these rings of copper. Uh, there's the engraved rings here, uh, and then there's some rings throughout the pen, uh, and, and right, you know, uh, right below the finial as well. Uh, there's a nice little clip here uh, that has some some silver color, uh, and then uh, uh, that copper on top of it as well with sil little silver dots. Um, and then we have this picture by Leonardo. Um, and I, I just, I, I love this pen. Uh, for me, it's, it's beautiful. It's pretty large. So if I put this, this is a Mont Blanc 149. Uh, so you can see uh, this, is, this is a pretty fat pen. So this, I would say, is a little bit fatter to me. Um, so it's, it's, it's a pretty big pen. Um, it's, it's, it's heavier, right? It has some, some, some weight to it, but it's not too heavy. It's not like, a, a you know, pens made out of, of all metal, um, uh, that kind of tire your hand out after a while. Uh, it, it's, it's just perfect to me. So if we, if we look at the finial here, uh, we have some more of that same material that I can't pronounce, casein, casein, casein. Uh, and then we have this, this logo, uh, and then if we unscrew the cap here, um, we have the nib, uh, and I don't think you can see that probably, but this is an 18 karat gold nib. Uh, what's interesting to me is every everything that I could find online uh, indicated that this should be a 14 karat gold nib on here, uh, but for some reason mine is an 18 karat gold nib. Uh, I don't know if they swapped the nibs or what's the deal with that, or if there's just like a misprint. Uh, but um, yeah, so that, that that's what you have. Uh, the body of the pen is pretty thick here, as you can see. And it tapers off uh, pretty significantly uh, on both sides. And so that, that kind of, for me, it just sits in my hand so perfectly. And I, I really enjoy the feel of it. And uh, I, I just, I, I really love writing with this pen. So if we unscrew uh, uh, the body from the section here, you can see there's another little copper ring there. 
and then you just kind of have this this kind of regular uh, 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 cartridge converter, which is which is okay. Uh, what I really enjoy, and I, I don't know, maybe there's no no reason why I should enjoy it as much as I do, but right before you get to the end, it kind of there's this last little thing that like it's it's going you know going 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 and it hits this point and it's like click but it's, it's kind of like a, a semi click uh, but smoother than that and uh, I, I have this um, a lot of joy when that happens and I'm not sure why uh, but that's okay uh, so yeah this this pen I, I don't know I, I love it uh, um, it, it is a pretty expensive pen uh, I, I got it I got it on eBay. I think by now it's it's pretty expensive. It's like over a thousand. But um, uh, if if you if you try to bid for it, you can get it uh, substantially less than that. Um, I, I think I've, the lowest I saw it go for was like maybe like five hundred or so. But um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely an expensive pen. Uh, but it does seem to be readily available. Uh, and honestly, it's it like I said, it's it's one of my favorite pens. The way it sits in my hand, I, I don't I don't have another pen that I that I. I, I think, you know, comes close to that. I, I have some that I really enjoy the, the feel of them, but this, the, and, the, and I have the other ones that, that the writing is, is, I would say, better, and the nibs are better, but um, the, the Marlin in general, I found their, their nibs to be really well tuned. Uh, I think they're Bach nibs that they, they you know, um, tune up themselves. I, uh, uh, someone, maybe correct me on that if you actually watch this, I'm, not, I'm wrong about that, but uh, I did do some research on it at some point, and that's, seemed to be what the consensus was. Uh, but anyways, the second pen that I want to talk about I got more recently, and this is the Marlin Egizia, uh, which I think is Italian for Egyptian, uh, I believe. Uh, again, correct me if I'm wrong. And this pen, I think, is just is really beautiful. Um, you have these, these layers of, of turned Italian resin uh, that I think were glued together by hand. Uh, and then you have the, uh, these are the, the, the middle portion that has the sphinx on it. Uh, it was, is silver, I believe. And then you have on the clip there, you have the pyramids. Uh, and you also have kind of these little pyramids and some interesting designs here as well. Uh, at the bottom of the, of the, of the cat. So this, I've, I've noticed this with all uh, Marlin pens that that are um, that are piston fillers. Um, it almost seems like this is a, a you know a really nice cartridge converter, um, but you can't unscrew the, the you know the pen from the section like the body from the section. So I don't know that for sure. I have another one, so they kind of rattle a little bit. So I don't know if that's just this connection here, if there's really just a, you know a really nice cartridge converter in there. Um, but either way, I mean, they, they, they are very nice. Uh, I think they market them as piston fillers, so I, 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 I guess I can believe them when they say that. Um, but this screws back on, like so. Um, we can turn this. So this is also a limited edition. I think there are more made, 588. Uh, but we'll unscrew this here. And then we again, I believe, have an 18 karat gold nib. Uh, let's see if you can see that. Hmm. This is, yes, not, not the ideal situation, but uh, we turn that around. We can see the feed there. Uh, a little bit bigger of a feed than, uh, than on the Leonardo pen. Um, but yeah, there we have it. Those are the two pens. Uh, I just wanted to give a little brief explanation uh, for people who actually were thinking about buying these or have bought them, uh, just because there was no videos like this when I was looking. So that's, that's again, uh, I'm not an expert. Uh, I don't know too much about these, but I, I wanted to give something for people who are interested in, in, in uh, uh, these pens. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this and writing sample to come right now. All right, so first up we have, again, this Harmony of Leonardo. Let's unscrew this. So first I'm just going to post this just to show you how big of a pen this is when you post it. 
Um, it's really, really back heavy. Uh, you can see that. Quite large. So this is the Marlin Harmony of Leonardo. Uh, and I'm going to take this off now <laughs> because it's much more comfortable to write with it off. Again, this is a limited edition. Edition. And there were 388 of these, but they are readily available, so if you are interested. Uh, this ink uh, is Sailor Studio. Uh, 123, I believe. Maybe flip those, maybe change the numbers. Uh, this is correct. This is this might not be correct. Um, but this ink is nice. Um, kind of changes colors a little bit as it dries. Uh, if you have a, 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 a broader pen uh, nib, then it, it tends to, to have the colors come through a little bit better. But, uh, right, so it's, it's pretty wet. Uh, very nice in the hand, like I said. I really love it. I really, really enjoy this pen. I can't emphasize that enough. Uh, let's see some backwards writing. Backwards. That's pretty good. Very thin. A little scratchy, but uh, that makes sense. And uh, I think that's all I'm going to do for this one. Uh, I really enjoy it. Line variation, a little bit, uh, nothing too too much, but a um, little bit of line variation if you uh, want such things. So now, this kind of posts, but uh, it makes me feel weird. It makes me feel like it's scratching this, the resin here, so I don't I don't really post it when I use it. Uh, it's not too short. Uh, I was a little it's, it's much shorter than, than uh, the Leonardo, I'd say, but um, it's not so short that it's uncomfortable. It's, it's kind of just right, um, at least for my hand. So again, this is Marlin Egizia. Uh, and this again is a limited edition. But there were 588 of them made. Uh, and these are both medium nibs. Uh, and it's it's very nice. Uh, this one I would say is a little bit wetter. Uh, the other one, the, the, the Leonardo pen, it's a little bit crisper, I would say, but just, just as enjoyable. Uh, I, I think I prefer the Leonardo for the way it sits in my hand. Uh, but also for the way it writes, it's, it's, it's just, I, I don't know, it's, it's a good writer for me. This one is too, but this one's a little wetter, uh, just a little bit different feel, but um, you can see, pretty wet, not, not, not like a super, super wet, but pretty wet. Um, this ink is uh, Pilot Ira Shizuku, Shizuku, uh, I, it's right here. <laughs> this ink is this ink, and uh, right, Irishizuku. Uh, I always mess up the name, I kind of switches O with an I or something, I don't know why that is. It's the Amairo. So that's what we have there. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much all there is. A uh, bit of line variation for you. Uh, yeah, I, I love this pen. I think it's very nice, but again, this one is my favorite. Favorite, second favorite. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed it, and goodbye.